Hello everyone. Now today in English, we are going to do the next story, Day and Night. First and foremost, like always, we'll be doing the prediction. That is, seeing the pictures in the story and guessing what the story is about. So let's begin. So today, we are going to see the pictures in the story and guess what the story is about. Right children? So now if you see the cover picture, what do you think it is about? Okay, you think it is about day and night. Why do you think so? Yes, because the picture in the circle shows half day and half night. Day where the sun is there and night where the moon is there. So now we can see the story is about day and night. Now do you think it is morning or evening? And why do you think so? You think it is evening because the children are playing, running around here and there. Yes? So it looks like it is evening. Now, who do you think he is? He looks like an old man. Yes? And why do you think the children are sitting around him? Because maybe he is speaking something very interesting. Yes? And do you think they are waiting for something interesting? Yes? They are waiting for something the children? Yes, goodly. Because they are sitting very quietly and listening to him. Moving on to the next page. And what do you think this place? It looks like a forest, a jungle. Yes, and is this place dark? Yes, of course. You can see it is dark. And why do you think so? Because it's the small, small stars we can see out there, which makes us think that it is dark. The animals which we see in the picture the rabbit and the fox. What do you think has happened here? The children are running. This moon has risen. And uh, the animals are running from here and there. And, and why do you think out here the rabbit has fallen into the hole? Because it is dark and he cannot see. Yes, as there is no light, he could not see. Moving on to the next page. Now, are the rabbit and the owl angry or yelling, shouting at each other? Yeah, they are talking, they are screaming at each other. Could be, or they could be just fighting with each other. Yes, and why do you think so? Maybe they are not in agreement for something. That is why they are fighting and shouting at each other. So, what are the children, uh, animals doing here? Yes, they are all sitting together in a big circle. So, which other animals other than the rabbit can you, and owl you can see? You can see the goat, the snake, the bear. There is a frog also and there is a fox. Yes, all these animals can be seen. Seen. And now, what do you think the animals are talking about? The animals could be talking that it is so dark and they cannot see anything. And it is very difficult for them as there is no light. Moving on to the next page. And what is the bear doing? Bear is trying to calm them yes and telling them to keep quiet because he's raising both his hands and what do you think the bear is telling them the bearing is telling them to be calm and quiet and wait for the time what happened out here in this picture can you see yes there is bright sunshine yes and it is day Why do you think this has changed? 
because the sun has risen yes the birds are flying in the sky and the sky is really clear do you think the animals are happy yes the animals are very happy it looks like because they are dancing around what do you think the owl is thinking out here the owl is thinking when it will be night because the owl likes night so he may be, she may be thinking when it will be night and what other animals do to do you see what other animals do we see yes the other animals that we can see out here now are the lion the porcupine yes all other different animals which we can see and many more now what is happening out here yes we can see that all the people have gathered together and are sitting in a circle yes and there is a small bonfire lit out here and do you think this person is going somewhere yes we think he is going somewhere because he stood up and now the story is over which he has to say so maybe he is going back home yes it is dark out here now because the stars are shining so it is dark what does it mean it means that it is night now what do you think the children will do now they may be going to bed because it is night after listening to the sto lovely story they are all going to go back home and sleep so i'm sure children you all have understood what the story is about with the help of the pictures right